Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Frank, musician photographer here in the Midwest. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to live stream with your Canon T3i. You're going to need two extra things besides the camera. But first off, you're going to connect the camera via USB, as you're seeing in the picture right now. The second thing you need to use is the Canon EOS utility. Now, how do you get that? And this is free to use. You want to go to usa.com canon.eos utility. Now, I'm showing you the screenshot right now. Go check it out, and it gives you instructions how to download it. So you're going to install that on your PC in order to be able to control the camera. Now, the third thing you're going to need is OBS. OBS is also free to use, so you're going to head over to OBS. Now, I'm showing you the screenshot right now. Go to the website, download that, and install that on your computer. All right, so now let's move on and get started. So the first thing you want to do is once you have installed the Canon EOS utility, you want to launch it and then you see this here where it says camera setting remote shooting. You're going to click on that. Alright, now that's going to open up the controller for the camera. So next thing you want to do is you want to go down here to you see where it says live view shoot. You're going to click on that. And that's going to start off the camera. All right, so there it is. Now it's uh, running. You can see it's capturing me. And you can also mess with the settings here if you wanted to. I already have it set to where I need it to be. But if you wanted to mess with this in order for you to get it properly, then you would do that. And uh, here's another thing that I want to show you. Sometimes by default, when you connect, it's going to show this live mode it's got this square here now if that appears you can actually click down here if you click on this it'll take it away um, but you can also scroll down here and go to face detection live mode you click on that and then it goes away so see so now that's gone all right so now once you got this running the next thing we want to do is launch OBS okay so now we launched OBS so we're going to start from scratch, right? All right, so it's empty. So the first thing you want to do now, you got the live view running and everything is connected, so everything's properly going. So we want to go down to sources, we want to hit the plus sign, and we want to see the bottom one that says window capture, click on that. It's going to say window capture. You can name it what you want or you can leave it as is. I'm just going to leave it as is. Hit OK. Now, it's going to be blank, but what you want to do is see where it says window right here. You want to click on that, and then this is the one you want, remote live view window. So as soon as you click on that, you're going to see that, oh, there I am. All right, we're going to hit OK, and then I'm going to show you how to adjust this. All right, so obviously this is, we don't want all this to be on the stream, right? So what we want to do is we want to shrink this down. So we're going to, let's grab a corner. So we're going to take the cursor and click down. And I'm going to shrink it down a little bit until we can actually see all four corners of the capture. Okay, so the next step, in order to crop, you want to click on the window capture, highlight that, and then you want to go to this corner or the middle here, the square, and you want to hold down the Alt key, right? And when you do that, see it lights up green, you're still holding down the Alt key. Bring it down here, all right. We're gonna do the same thing again. The Alt key, hold it down until you, you, you're cropping it into where you need it to be, right? Once again, and at the bottom, Alt key again. Bring it up here. Okay, and one more time, Alt key again. All right, so now we kinda got what we want to look like when we go streaming so the next thing you do without the alt key now you just grab one of the corners and just expand it you're gonna make it big until you actually get to where you want it to be so you fill up the screen right okay all right so there you go that's uh that's how you fit the screen and then you can hit this transition and this is what your stream is going to look like. See where it says program? That's what your stream is going to look like when you head over there. So this is without a capture card or the Canon T3i going directly into the PC. I don't want to make this too complicated. So I'm just leaving it pretty easy with just the mic 
as is coming from a laptop but let's say if you wanted to add a mic you can go in here under properties and then you can add a mic uh, I don't have one added because I wanted to keep it simple but if you want to just use your laptop mic it's the real tech audio uh, but I'm just gonna hit cancel because that's what I'm using as you can see it's picking up my voice it's fine no big deal but if you wanted to add something you could all right the next thing you want to do is under settings now you want to pick where you want to stream to right so I haven't started streaming yet so here under stream which is right below the general go to stream and I have it set to twitch because that's what I was testing it on but if you tab down you can set it to YouTube mixer Facebook restream all that good stuff and I'm just gonna leave it as is I'm not gonna get into how to get the stream key and go into all that other stuff up I'm assuming I'm gonna leave that for another tutorial uh, so I'm just gonna hit OK for now and then when you're ready to start streaming because you got your screen you got your image quality is good and your audio is good which is showing down here then you would just see that it says start streaming now here's a tip in order for you to make sure that everything's okay, I would just recommend to just do a recording. See where it says start recording? If you hit that, it's going to record a video and it's going to save it to your PC in a folder. And then you can go back and check the image and the sound and see if that's something that you want. All right, guys. So that's it for this tutorial. I uh, hope you found this useful. Uh, no capture card is needed. The Canon EOS utility is free to use. OBS is free to use, so you don't have to pay for anything. Uh, so if you have a Canon T3i, you can actually stream using that. All right, guys, let me know in the comments if you found this useful. Uh, give me a thumbs up, and thanks so much, and I appreciate it. Uh, looking forward to your feedback, or right, I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.